Chris Nyween is a Republican strategist through Fox News, contributor on the Hill, um, and is on the line right now. What did you think of um, uh, What did you think of yesterday's just riveting testimony? Well, it was it was pretty intense. You know, I was in I was in the Senate yesterday, and there were you know protesters everywhere, and it's just such a charged up situation. My own personal take is I think that there's a, a, a lot of reasonable doubt, uh, you know, a, a, a lot of a lot of inconsistency in terms of time, place, corroboration, in terms of just looking at the the, the, the burdens of proof, in terms of process. Um, you know, I, I I think inevitably the judge will be advanced and, and yeah. will be confirmed yeah. at, at this time. That's that's my prediction, but it was certainly. I would just say it was intense and it was political yesterday. It was. I, I, although I have to say, and you know, I've been hammered a few times on this this morning. Oh well, uh, I think they were. <laughs> I think they were both incredibly compelling. Um, I was emotionally, maybe I'm just a wuss, but I was emotionally taken. Uh, I was. I was. I was. I was. It was emotional. Both of them to me were emotional. Um, that's how I kind of felt. And, and, you know, you want to walk away being, Oh, I now know we now know. Um, but it, that didn't happen yesterday, which leads to my next question. And which I think is the most important. Okay. Yes. The Supreme court is very important, but we all, at some point, president Trump's going to get somebody who's a conservative on before the midterms, it's going to happen. But my question is, this is all about the midterms. That was all the pontificating yesterday on both sides. Who walks away the winner here by really putting a charge into their base? I think it will be the conservatives. I, I, that, that's that's sort of my, my take on it. Yeah. I, I think that the, 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 the left, I think, has just gone too far and it, it is going to end up fracturing themselves. Because there's a lot of Democrats that just don't believe in this extreme uh insanity is what yeah. i call it i mean you know look you really care about what happened to this woman you really care about that you you advance these concerns immediately you yeah. know it's it, there's not the concern it is expendable and my own personal view of this as a citizen having watched this not only do i think she's lying i think it's completely sinister and by design wow. i mean there there wow. is just I know, and that that's my own personal opinion. I yeah. think from things that I've seen in terms of this is about abortion. This is about power. No, no, yeah. And and when people are afraid, they they swing they swing for the fences. And I think that's what the Democrats are doing. But I gotta, I, 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 I have to go back right. on the on the lying part. I cannot go. I certainly I don't think she's lying. I think that um, based on because think about it, she's come out and made this accusation against him privately with counselors and with family and what have you. Before Supposedly. before this, and even 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 in July, she I mean, this is where she's like, I, there are other conservative members the president can can nominate. This guy should not be it. So to think that she's lying, I, I struggle with that. However, this is she was totally manipulated. I think she's as much of a victim as as Kavanaugh is by the by the Democrats here. Well, she is. I, I mean, they, I, look. Let's just let's take this example. Senator Gillibrand steps outside the the, the hearing. You know, she, she wholeheartedly believes her. This, is, you know, she's. You know, what about the Harvey Weinstein stuff? What about? I mean, it, it, there's never. We need it. We need a, as a society. We need a consistent standard, and that's yeah. the issue that, that I've struggled with. Is we we don't have that consistent standard. It's completely biased. Even the media coverage, I think, has been completely completely biased. But we have the presumption of innocence, and you know her testimony is 100 percent that that was him. She can't remember anything else, but she had a very vivid explanation from her from her from her technical training of, of why that is, and it, it just, I, it just to me, it just seemed yeah, yeah. absolutely false. But, well, I'm not with you on that, but um, and the other part is too. I mean, Weinstein, uh, Kevin Spacey. I mean, the list of liberals that have gone down by this Me Too movement. Um, I, I find it difficult on the uh, this big liberal conspiracy, media conspiracy. But listen, at the end of the day, it's all about the midterms, and it's all about um, Roe v. Wade, right? Absolutely. That, that's all it's about. And again, I know it's a sensitive thing, but so is the truth, and so is destroying someone's life. You know, my thing is, 
I think being brave is coming forward uh, early and often, right? Because you, you have other people out there that could potentially be victimized. And so, you know, I just, I truly believe this is, I have a, this is a unique take. I have a much more sinister take on this. I think it's absolutely. Yeah. Good luck with your, good luck with your take, by the way. Um, <laughs> I hope you last yeah. today. Yeah. That's just my take from yeah. living in politics and, and seeing it, you know, and all that kind of so stuff. So do you think though that, um, that we as guys can say she's lying because she didn't come out quickly enough? No, I just don't think that. No, it's my take on bravery. To be okay, bravery, all right. Come Fair out enough. and you protect you protect other people. Yeah, right? that's that's my that's my. Well, take. you're right. I mean, uh, um, if, if if there's a if there's a deviant out there that's doing bad things, it is important to uh, to stand up so that it doesn't happen to somebody else. That certainly makes sense. All right, Chris. We uh, Chris Nyween, a Republican strategist, and we appreciate your time here this morning. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Okay. Um, I'm, I can't be with him. No, I know. In, in, in her defense, yeah. too, yeah, I mean. He's too far from me. There, I mean, the problem is, is that Dr. Ford. He didn't call her a skank, though. No, I, he didn't. I did give him some credit there. So. Dr. Ford, according to her testimony and other, you know, and twice, she never wanted to come forward. And she herself, she never authorized the, the letter. So with that, I have grounds to say that I believe that something happened to this woman. And I do believe that she that both people were were victimized here in this case by the Republicans and the Democrats. Yeah, it was a big. I mean, you know, you see it the going back back and forth. It's kind of like the State of the Union, right? Yeah. Where no matter what the president says, the those who are not in power, um, the 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 other side, whether it's Democrats, whether it's Obama, or whether it's Trump, they sit on their hands. They don't say anything. They murmur a little bit. And it is also interesting. There's a uh, to me, this whole thing is. Uh, is there's a lesson on psychology, a psychology lesson to all of this, because one person can come out and say, you're all sitting there watching, but your take on that person, depending on your beliefs, is so far right and left that it's quite interesting, right? It's like Laurel and Yanny, or the blue dress and the uh, the gold dress. I guess you're right. It's kind of like that. So, Anybody want to wrap this up? I just. I'm glad it's Friday. I'm. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to 72 I'm super later. Super happy that it's Friday. I, I'm so glad I could fall asleep on the table right now. Now, what'll happen today is there. There isn't word yet whether Republicans have enough vo- uh, votes right now to move this forward. My guess is they do. Uh, there are the two female senators and um, and Flake. So, yeah. So it was interesting. That are is... kind of uh, that are kind of wavering here, and they need them. So the interesting thing. But I was... think it'll happen today. Uh, Ryan Nobles actually tweeted yesterday that right after the the hearing, and this is critical because these four people are very different but very alike in a lot of ways. So you had Murkowski, Collins, Flake, and Manchin, Joel Manchin, meeting yesterday. So either one of two things happened. They both agreed, okay, this is going to be hard, we're going to vote yes, or we're going to vote no. I had somebody yelling at me yesterday about, um, because I have, I understand everybody kind of, y'all, Richard especially knows exactly what's in my mind. But I, I, I look at it as th- none of them really believe in anything except for getting reelected. Yeah. And they're all fearing the, the midterms, Republicans and Democrats. So the ones that are kind of standing back there wavering, Flake has nothing to lose. He doesn't care at this point. But everybody else is worrying about the midterms. So if you think that you're going to be and you're going to go home and in your district, you're going to get crucified because you voted for him then chances are you're not going to vote for him. And if it's the, uh, there are very few brave people out there in politics today that are willing to say, I know this is going to hurt me, but I'm still going to do it because it's what's right. And that's the sad part about politics today. And I, by the way, just ask Pasenny what happens when you stand up for what you think is best for your district and not best for your political career. You get hammered over it. I, uh, I think collectively we've kind of lost our way in politics here. Man, um, I hope we? this is as bad as it gets. I hope we've hit rock bottom and we start to come back up. I also want to say I do believe in karma. I don't know who's telling the truth, but if this is a concocted story, um, I hope it comes back to bite somebody. If, I if, find out, if we find out Monday morning, I'm watching the Weather Channel, and you find out one of these two was struck by lightning, wow. And you're if, right. If Kavanaugh <laughs> did did do this, then I, I think it'll he'll pay for it at, at some point. Yeah. Well, that is a very faith-based... Karma, not faith. What goes around comes around. Okay, all right, karma.